Hey guys, Tech Manager with the video for guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your weather app on your iPhone or iPad if it's not working. Now, you want to follow these steps if you're having issues with the weather app, whether the data isn't loading, it's frozen, or it doesn't work for you. So, by default, what happens is on the weather app, you should be able to get the current weather, uh, your temperature, and the weather itself on it. But sometimes this data doesn't really quite work or the app just freezes up on you. And if you want to add a different city, you can search it up by clicking here. Let's say you want to search up San Diego, for example, you would click on add it. And sometimes even this part where you're searching up a city and trying to add it, it doesn't work for you. So how can we fix that? So the very first thing whenever you're having this issue is simply opening and closing the app here. So we're going to close out the app. You swipe up just like that and then slide it up just like that to close it out. And that closes out the app and then you reopen it, kind of restarting the app without doing too much. Now, that's the simplest thing you can do. Now, the next thing you want to do is test out your internet connection through either Wi-Fi or cellular data. In order to do that, pull down the menu from the top and turn on airplane mode for a moment and then turn it back off. And what we have done is a quick network refresh so that if there was any issues with the network connectivity, it should resolve that issue for us. Now, after you have done that and the weather app still isn't working for you, now it's time to give your phone a force restart. So in order to do a force restart, it's going to be really simple. You're going to do volume up, volume down, and then hold the side button. So what I've done is press and release the volume up and then followed by pressing and releasing the volume down and then holding the side button here. I'm not going to slide to power off. I'm going to keep on holding that big side button until the screen goes completely black and then I see the Apple logo and then I let go of that side button. And what I have done is completely shut down the phone and then have the phone reload the software, the code. So if there is any software related issue impacting the phone from not working correctly, it will resolve that issue. Now this force restart will not delete any of your personal data. So once you're back on, just put in your passcode and you should be able to get back onto your iPhone and hopefully the weather app now works for you. Now, let's say it's a little bit tricky and it's still not working for you. What's the next thing you can do? Well, the next thing you can do is go into your settings of your iPhone. And once you go in your settings, you want to go to privacy and security in this case here. Now, this is on iOS 16, so you might see slightly different, but we're looking for location services setting on our iPhone. And then once you do that, you want to go in your location services, and then you want to have your location services on just like that. So that location services are available for your iPhone to recognize where you are. So when it's using the weather services, it knows where you are. And then you can click on and verify that your location service is working for you. And you also want to check out that all of these settings here for your locations are working and these should be the default settings here if you see any of these turned off there could be issues with this so you want to make sure that is turned on now next thing you want to check out when your phone in the settings here is the actual weather app itself so click on the weather app here and then here as you can see here the weather app is going on it's good we want to make sure the cellular data is check marked off as well it's important to do that for your phone so that it is working the way it should now after you have done that and let's say the weather app still isn't working the next thing we can do is actually resetting our location and privacy settings in order to do that we're going to be in settings again we're going to go to general then all the way down here with this transfer reset iphone we're going to click on that and then you'll see the option for reset here. We'll click on the reset option. And then the option that we want to select is reset location and privacy. Once I click on that, it will ask me for my phone's passcode, just like that. And before you do that, what this will do is reset only the settings related to your location and privacy settings to factory default. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps or anything like that it's really simple and easy to do just like that you just have we just do a reset like that and hopefully fixes the weather app now working for you now let's say it's still not working for you what's the next thing you can do well the next thing you can do is actually delete the app and reinstall it so you might ask okay, how do i delete the app it's really simple all you do is press and hold and then you're going to do is delete the app. So this is the stack itself. So what we want to do is locate the actual app itself. So as you can see here, the stack is going to be different from the app itself. So we're going to go ahead and click and press hold on the app just like that. And then we click on remove app and then delete app. And it will ask you deleting apps. So just to confirm, we'll delete it just like that. And now, as you can see here, we have a deleted 
that app, it's gone. The widget stack is gone as well. Now it's time to reinstall it. In order to reinstall it, we go to the app store. The app store, make sure you're connected to you. Uh, again, your internet or cellular data, and then also signed into your Apple ID here. If not, you have to create Apple ID to download any apps. And then we're going to go to search here and then search for weather. And then we search for weather. And the very first one that we get, it should be the weather app itself. So we're going to verify this is the right one. It's from Apple, which is correct. You should see that I with this cloud with the arrow pointing down, which means we downloaded in the past and it's the one that we want to download. And we click on that spinny thing and it should just download for us within five to seven seconds. And then we go back here and then on the very last page here on the phone here, we should see under lap library recently added our weather app. We can press and hold and then add to home screen. And this time we can go back and locate the weather app should be added back to our home screen. Hopefully the weather app is working for you. Now you can also go ahead and add the widget as well after you have done this we can press and hold and then edit home screen and then click on the plus icon and if you want to add the weather widget you can search it up or look for it here just like that hit that add widget and we added the widget just like that again hopefully the weather app is working for you finally if none of this method has worked so far the very last thing you can do on your iphone is going into your iphone setting one more time and then this time we're going to go to from settings general software update and finally checking if there's a software update out if there is it's going to say download and install which means you, you want an update to the latest version of the software in case a previous update has caused some issues for the weather app to not function correctly or work correctly and usually you want to give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for you to be able to do the software update and download and the, after you have done down the update hopefully your weather app is working so that's it for this video. I hope now your weather app is working on your iPhone. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.